my name is Mark Renz. I'm with the University of Wisconsin Extension and today we're going to talk about identification of wild chervil. This is one of the newer plants that's invading Wisconsin along our roadsides. It's actually fairly easy to identify but it is a rapid spreader and is rapidly spreading so you really should be aware of a few key characteristics. It is a biennial to a short-lived perennial that can live on open sunny areas as well as on edges of forests has a pretty wide latitude of where we see it invading. It is in the carrot family, so uh, it's very similar to many of our other species, but there's a few real simple traits that'll help us identify this. First off, since it is in the carrot family, we have these umbel shaped flowers uh, that are situated here, uh, and then we actually have some fruit that are here that are born on these flowers. These fruit will be smooth, unlike some other similar species. As we see, as we, as we span back, we see that there are many flowers that are widely dispersed in the top third to half of the canopy there. But really the key way to identifying this plant is to looking at the leaf structure and where that leaf attaches to the stem. As we see here, we have a, a ridge stem that's quite distinct. And right here where our leaf attaches, uh, a leaf attaches and surrounds that stem right there. A real key characteristic that helps us in identifying this plant. Also, looking at the leaf itself, if we pull this off, we can see that there are some fine hairs that are present on the leaf, but the uh, leaf hairs are actually quite a bit smaller than some of our other uh, pl plants that we would confuse with this, particularly wild carrot or Queen's Anne's lace. So although these traits together make it fairly easy to identify, probably the best characteristic is that it flowers very early. Late May, early June is when we tend to see this plant flowering much earlier than any of our other confusing species like wild carrot or Japanese hedge parsley. So with those characteristics in mind, uh, the early flowering timing, the leaf wrapping around the stem, the white umbled flowers, this plant should be fairly easy to identify compared to our other species. Good luck and happy weeding.